Get down to serious business. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Je- Jeff Landry in town yesterday to say he was asked for a legal opinion with regard to the Red River Waterway Commission. He says the governor's appointment of Ron Latier to the Caddo seat is illegal. The governor disagrees. Why? That's right. Um, And we want to make clear that everybody understands that it is just an opinion that the AG issued. It is not law. What the governor did was lawfully make an appointment to the Red River Waterway Commission. Uh, He has the authority to do that. And there were several steps in the process. It's not something that he just said, I'm going to appoint Ron uh, Ron Latier, and it just happened. Be very, very um, aware of the fact that uh, when the governor decided to do this, this was last year when he was, it was brought to his attention that uh, repeats Parish was underrepresented at the time uh, that Shreveport did have uh, three representatives uh, on that for a brief period for four months. And it was brought to the governor's attention that one at-large seat uh, that had been Rapide's seat for nearly uh, 14 years, over a decade, and the governor made a commitment to return a seat if ever the opportunity became available to return an at-large seat to Rapide's Parish to restore the regional and racial diversity on that board. No one had any idea that the events that unfolded were going to unfold before the Senate confirmation actually happened. And as things unfolded, an opportunity did become available for the governor uh, to move Mr. Latier from that at-large seat to the parish seat. Mr. Latier, of course, is from Caddo Parish. Now, when the governor decided to do this, he had to notify the Red River Waterway Commission. He had to notify the Secretary of State. And he also had to notify the Senate because there was a Senate confirmation. That was in April. The Senate confirmation wasn't until May. So there was plenty of time. If anybody had any objection to what the governor wanted to do, they could have voiced their concerns. As a matter of fact, Senators Peacock and Tarver, if they had wanted to stop it, they could have done so. But nobody objected to it. And, in fact, he was confirmed unanimously. So the governor did that in accordance with the law. There was nothing illegal about what the governor did. And in doing so it's also very important to remember that for over a decade Caddo Parish has had one parish seat and one at-large seat. They still to this day have one parish seat and one at-large seat. As much representation as they have had for over a decade. Uh, for over a decade. When Ms. Prater's nomination from a variety of, of local bodies, at least local for us, um, got to the governor's desk. Did it take him a long time to make that decision? Did, did, did he go, no way, or did he mull it over for a while? No, absolutely not. It's very important also to point out that in the statute, the statute is uh, where you find the timeline. That is not an issue uh, that the governor has been making, but there is a timeline that's outlined in the statute. Her nomination letters did come in after that deadline, but I should also point out that Mr. Latier received nominations as, uh, nomination as well from the Caddo Levy District. Uh, They wanted him on the board. Not only has he been recommended by them once, but a second time under our administration and under the previous administration. Again, He he was recommended in September of last year by the Caddo Commission and was appointed to the at-large seat, correct? That's right. That is correct. He was. But but the the move of him to the Caddo seat is where we have the the discrepancy. But that's what that's what I was pointing out earlier. There really wasn't a discrepancy. When the governor decided to do that, he had to notify the Red River Waterway Commission that he wanted to do that. He had to notify the Secretary of State, and he had to notify the Senate. But doesn't and he, he have to that. take nominations for the he Caddo has, seat at he, that point? He can receive those nominations. He's not obligated to select from those nominations. So he did receive... Doesn't uh, the Mr. law require him to select from those nominations? It does not require him to select. He can receive those nominations. It does not require him to select a nomination for for the at-large seat. But keep in mind that he had uh, he amended the appointment to the at-large seat to the parish seat. When he made that amendment, he sent that to the commission, the Red River Waterway Commission. He sent it to the Secretary of State. He sent it to the Senate. This is what I would like to do. If anybody had any objection with that, they could have said they could have said what it was. Senator Peacock, Senator Tarver, the commission, no one said anything. From they the had, did not have a problem with it back then. Don't understand why they have a problem with it now. From the governor's office yesterday, referred to A.G. Landry giving his opinion in this matter, mm-hmm. a cheap political stunt that's in the release. Yeah. How is the levy commission? How is the levy commission asking the state attorney general for his opinion a cheap political stunt? But, uh, 
Attorney General getting involved with this as a cheap political stunt and calling a press conference over this, when in fact he knows that the governor had the legal authority to make the appointment that he made. We all know that so the Attorney General... So pardon me, when he, says all, the governor, when he says the governor does not have that legal authority, when he says that Mr. Edwards, that Governor Edwards may have been out of bounds. But he wasn't. He wasn't out of bounds. And we know that he was not out of bounds. And again, this is his opinion. Do you think Mr. According Jeff knows that? Law, Pardon me. You think Mr. Jeff knows that also? Law, according to the law, the governor was not out of bounds. And we know that the attorney general is thinking about running against the governor, is going to take any opportunity. He has done so many times before to come out against the governor. So it's no surprise. It's no surprise at all. So the governor's stance is your office's stance, the governor's office's stance is that Mr. Landry knows exactly that the governor was acting within uh, legal boundaries. If he understands the law the way we understand it, then he knows that the governor was acting within his legal boundaries. We're talking with Shauna Sanford with the governor's office. Let me let me ask you this, because we talked to Greg Tarver again, mm-hmm. and he was very clear that the and some are saying, well, this was a cheap political stunt to start with by Governor John Bell Edwards. When he said to Greg Tarver, according to Mr. Tarver, that he wasn't going to appoint Carolyn Prater because of Sheriff Steve Prater's opposition to him and criticism of him on criminal justice reform. Senator Tarver stands by this as of four days ago. So, so some are saying it's a, it's a cheap political stunt on the governor's side, too. So let me be very clear. The governor never said anything along the lines of what Senator Tarver was saying. Absolutely not. There was uh, a, a voicemail that was left by the governor. Senator Tarver did call the governor. Um, he wasn't able to get the governor, so the governor called him back and explained to him why he made the decision that he made. Um, and he made it very clear that the sheriff's Uh, opposition to criminal justice reform had absolutely nothing to do with his decision concerning Mrs. Prater. In fact, the board that Mrs. Prater is on right now, the Caddo Levy District, she is there because the governor appointed her in 2016. So clearly the governor doesn't have any issue with appointing Mrs. Prater to uh, a board. He did it in 2016, and, and she serves at his discretion. So he doesn't have any issue with that. He's already appointed her to, a, to the board. And we stand behind this. The governor stands behind it. He never, ever, ever did the governor say anything along the lines of what Senator Tarver is saying. In fact, he made it very clear to Senator Tarver that one had absolutely nothing to do with the other. Since I was on vacation, I may have missed this in your previous conversations. If that's the case, why did the governor pass over Ms. Prater? The governor looked at the nominations. The, the governor did receive the nomination for Ms. Prater, but also keep in mind that Mr. Latier had a nomination as well. Looking at the commitment that the governor made, which was if an opportunity became available to return an at-large seat to repeat parish, that is what he was going to do. And the situation was such that he could do that. So he amended his appointment, moving Mr. Latier from the at-large position. Mr. Latier is from Caddo. He's an attorney, very familiar with the issues facing Caddo Parish as it relates to the, the Waterway Commission. And they have wanted him over the years to be a part of that commission. So obviously, they trust the work that he does, and they believe that he is a benefit to them uh, on that commission. And so when the opportunity presented itself, the governor said, I'm going to amend this appointment. I'm going to move Mr. Latier to the parish seat. But before doing that, of course, I have to follow these steps, and that is to notify those involved that this is what I would like to do, giving them an opportunity to say, we don't want this or we do want this. They had ample time, almost a month, to say, we want this or we don't want this, and they never objected to Mr. Latier uh, moving to that parish seat. And the gentleman who the governor put in that Rapides uh, at-large seat, he is a retired colonel, served more than uh, more than 20 years in uh, the Louisiana National Guard, almost 30 years. He was an engineer. He was a logistics officer. He's very familiar with hurricane relief and recovery efforts. He's very familiar with flooding issues and with building levees. He brings a lot to the table. So these are, these are people who have a lot of experience in dealing with the issues that this commission deals uh, deals with, and the governor stands behind both of his appointments.